Right, speaking activity, but first we have to do the listening before we can do the speaking. What did Jill do last week? So it's we are talking past tense because we have did in the question. So anything you answer, I want past tense. I don't want to hear she go swimming. No, 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 no. Okay, first let's listen and you can match the days of the week with the picture. Oh, first I'll just quickly talk about the pictures. So here we have a picnic. You can see the family sitting on a picnic rug, having sandwiches, and there's a flask in the picnic box. Next down here, we have two giraffes, Jill, and I think that's her brother uh, looking at the giraffes. So that must be at a zoo. The next picture as we go down, I like to talk about pictures because pictures have a lot of words, a lot of language in pictures. Uh, we can see Jill in bed, face not happy. So maybe she is sick. You see the bed, the pillow, blankets. Over here at the top right, we can see Jill and her brother are at the beach, sitting on the sand and making sand castles. Go down, we see a swimming pool. There's a little ladder for getting in and out of the water. And it looks like Jill swimming. And the last picture down here, we can see the skeleton of a dinosaur. Behind that, we can see what looks like a totem pole. So these are the kind of things you <clears throat> may find in a museum, in a museum. Okay, so before we start the speaking, now we've got to do the listening. So listen and match the day of the week with the picture, but also listen because I will be asking questions. Listening 2.34. <coughs> listen and match. Did you have a good holiday last week, Jill? Yes, I did. But Wednesday was horrible. Wednesday? Why? I had a sore throat. I stayed in bed all day. Oh, dear. <coughs> what did you do on Monday? I went to the zoo with my mum and dad and my brother. It was brilliant. What did you see? We saw lots of animals, but our favourites were the giraffes. They're amazing. Which was your favourite day? Uh, Saturday. We went to the beach on Saturday. Great. Did you swim in the sea? Yes, we did. And we made a fantastic sandcastle. Did you go to the museum last week? Yes, we did. We went to the museum on Thursday. What did you see? We saw a dinosaur skeleton. I love dinosaurs. What did you do on Sunday? We went to the park. It was fun. Did you have a picnic? Yes, we did. We had sandwiches and cakes. What else did you do? Did you go swimming? Yes, I did. I went to the swimming pool on Tuesday and on Friday. Did you go with your brother? No, I didn't. I went with my friends. Right. Just before, before I ask you questions, I will give you a chance to just listen to it one more time. Check your answers and just to listen to the English. Listening 2.34. <clears throat> listen and match. Did you have a good holiday last week, Jill? Yes, I did. But Wednesday was horrible. Wednesday? Why? I had a sore throat. I stayed in bed all day. Oh, dear. What did you do on Monday? 
I went to the zoo with my mum and dad and my brother. It was brilliant. What did you see? We saw lots of animals, but our favourites were the giraffes. They're amazing. Which was your favourite day? Uh, Saturday. We went to the beach on Saturday. Great. Did you swim in the sea? Yes, we did. And we made a fantastic sandcastle. Did you go to the museum last week? Yes, we did. We went to the museum on Thursday. What did you see? We saw a dinosaur skeleton. I love dinosaurs. What did you do on Sunday? We went to the park. It was fun. Did you have a picnic? Yes, we did. We had sandwiches and cakes. What else did you do? Did you go swimming? Yes, I did. I went to the swimming pool on Tuesday and on Friday. Did you go with your brother? No, I didn't. I went with my friends. Right. As you can see, what I have here is a list. If you look in my camera, you see I have a list of all your names. And I'm going to do this a little bit like a speaking test. So if you don't speak, you fail the test. <laughs> it's not about who speaks correctly. It's about who's trying to speak and who or who isn't. OK, so nickname and answer a question but give everybody a chance okay so if you've answered i don't want the same student answering every question every every student answer a question if you can right what did jill do on monday who's starting well, this is a good start isn't it what did jill do on monday marty yes marty she went to the zoo with her family. Oh, good answer. Right. Next, what did Jill do on Tuesday? There's something wrong with this class today, or what? Pancake. Pancake. Pa pancake. She went to the swimming pool. Yes, she went to the swimming pool or she went swimming. Good. What did Jill do on Wednesday? Wow, we're not very good, are we? What did Jill do on Thursday? Best. Best. She went to the museum with, with her family. Yeah, you don't have to, uh, all you have to say is, you don't have to say everything, just she went to the museum is enough, but good, good. Okay, next, what did Jill do on Friday? Parking. Parking. She went, she went to the swimming pool. What number are you packing? Number 25. Okay, thank you. Yeah. What did Jill do on Saturday? Tara. 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 She went to the beach. She went to the beach. Tara, your number? Oh, I have your number. It's okay. It's okay. What did Jill do on Sunday? We fly. Who was that? Poofai? Poofai number? She, 23. 23. 33. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 33. Okay, Poofai. She go to the park with her family. She went to the park. Not go. Past tense. But that's, that's good. You still pass the test. You tried mm -hmm. to speak. That's all I want. It's not about speaking correct. It's about trying to speak and remembering things. Okay. What did you do on Monday? 
who hasn't answered. What did Jill do on Monday? Shogun. Yes, Shogun. She went to the zoo. Yes. Well done, Shogun. Shogun's good because he tries, doesn't he? She went to the zoo. What does Jill do on Tuesday? Come on, that's the easy one. We've heard that three times already. What did Jill do on Tuesday? Shogun. No, you've answered already. Right. <sighs> she went swimming. Um, any student, any student, what did Jill do on Wednesday? Because nobody's answered that. Anyone can answer? 41, please. Time, time. Time. He got sore to and stay on bed all day. Yeah, well, at least you answered. She stayed in bed. That's what she did. No, I didn't ask what she's got. What's the matter? I said, what did she do? She stayed in bed. Okay. 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 But that's okay. Right. So who can say anything more about Sunday? Anyone now who can say something about Sunday? We know they went to the park and and picnic. It's a funny nickname and picnic. Who was that? Packing the picnic. Picnic. Packing picnic. Hmm. Yes, yeah, picnic. Yes, but come on, we're not speaking in one word. Jill went to the park with her family and they had a picnic, right? What can you remember about the zoo? Anyone? What did Jill say about the zoo? No. They saw lots of animals, but their favorite animals were... The giraffes. The lotion. Oh, here we go. And Jill stayed in bed. Or time already got that one when he answered before because she's got a sore throat. Or she had a sore throat. She had a sore throat. Okay. Went to the beach. Who can say something? What did they do at the beach? Marty. Marty. They swam in the sea and made and made a sand castle. Yeah, good. They, they made sand castles. I can't remember the swim in the sea, but maybe, yeah. Okay. Swam in the sea. All right, we're gonna. Um, that's enough. I don't think anyone else is going to try and speak, or maybe you can't speak because you don't have microphone or there's problems. I mean, if you didn't pass this speaking test, sometimes it, it's not your fault. Sometimes it's because you can't speak. I know some students have problems. Right. What I want you to do now is copy these two sentences into your book. Go. Right. In your book, Joe visited his grandma on Saturday morning. Copy this into your book. And number two, you write, Helen went for a walk on Sunday afternoon. Just copy those two. Write those two into your book. Make it a bit bigger for you to see. Okay, you write, Joe visited his grandma on Saturday morning. Remember, capital S for Saturday. 
Helen went for a walk on Sunday, capital S for Sunday afternoon. When you have finished that, I want you to write two sentences, your sentences. So you have two more lines. So line three, you write a sentence and line four, you write a sentence. It can be something like, I did my homework yesterday evening, or it could be something like, Shogun played football after school yesterday. Or it could be something like, my mum cooked a meal or cooked, my mum cooked dinner yesterday. Or it could be something like, I studied English with teacher Cam yesterday, well, it wasn't yesterday, was it? I studied English with teacher Cam on Wednesday morning when you had a class. All right, something like that. But try to use something. Try to use your imagination. Think of a good sentence. All right. It can be you, or it can be the name of your friend, or it can be your mum, your dad, your sister. It can be me if you want. It doesn't matter. Okay. Anything you like. Now, I know that not everyone can. I know everyone can't speak on microphones or they don't want to speak they're shy so we're going to for the answers i would like you to use microphone and chat so first i'm going to just close this right so i want to see your aunt your sentences in chat and speaking if you can on the microphone Speaking so I can hear the sentences correct and chat so I can see that you're writing. I can see your writing is chat. Okay, so Nana wrote, they went to the park. You can't say they because we don't know who they is. Okay. Oh, or maybe you was answering question. Maybe that was, maybe Nana was answering a question to, um, the listening activity before. Oh, right, who's finished a sentence? Anyone? I'm already That's a funny nickname. Mon. Okay, Mon. My mother cooked dinner on Sunday. Yes, that's a good answer. My, ma my mother cooked dinner on Sunday. Well done. That's the kind of thing I want. Mon, write in chat. Write your answer in chat as well. Um, Time. I ate Burger King on Saturday morning, morning. You ate the king. You ate, the, you, king. you ate the Burger King. Wow, you can eat a shop, a cafe. You, I ate at Burger King on okay. Sunday. Because Burger King is the place and not the food. Okay, good. Write your answer in chat, please. Wait, my head is annoying me. Okay. 
Right, anyone else? Come on and start writing your answers in chat. I want to check your writing too. Write in chat if you can. Come on, who's finished a sentence? Marty. Yes, Marty. Bill played the guitar on Friday evening. Oh, that's something a bit different, isn't it? Very good. Bill played the guitar on Friday evening. Yes, very good. Come on. That's it. Well done. Time's right in chat. I, I ate burger at Burger King. Correct. Yes. Same Pancake. time. That's good. Pancake. My father went to the supermarket on Saturday afternoon. Very good. Correct. And I can see here, I don't know who this is. Mon. 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 My, mo my mother cooked. Cooked. E-D. C-O-O-K-E-D. Dinner on Saturday. M my capital M Saturday capital S full stop and cooked with ED. Okay. Well done. Right, anyone else? Speaking or right in chat? Pufai. Pufai. Jim went to the park on Friday evening. Yes. Correct. Best. Best. I ate my lunch on Monday noon. Mm, yep, that's okay. On Monday noon, Monday afternoon. Noon is, we don't use that. Afternoon, on Monday afternoon, yeah. Okay, you could say at noon. Packing. Packing. I use my mom too. went to the beach on wait. On Saturday. Yes, that was good. Yes, you may go time wherever you want to go. Come on, write answers in chat, please. Shogun. Shogun. Did you have a can speak English every day? <laughs> can. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Teachers Cameron can speak English every day, but that's not past tense. Teacher Cameron, um, spoke english uh, spoke. Yeah, yesterday spoke means speak spoke is a past tense of speak s p o k e oh. s p o k e but you can't you can't use everyday in past tense never may i go to the toilet yes you may so you can say teacher cam spoke english to me yesterday. Spoke. 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 S P O K E. S P O K E. Spoke is the past tense of speak. Good. Well done. You're trying. I play rollerblading on Sunday evening. Nam. No, I went rollerblading on sunday evening went not play good any more marty yes marty my mother went shopping on saturday afternoon yeah my mother went shopping on saturday afternoon that's good come on more students writing in chat or speaking on a microphone or both idea idea my mother played football on Wednesday afternoon not the football my mother played football on Wednesday afternoon you don't play the football no the okay good right any more time's nearly up Any more? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, no more. So 
if you haven't finished that, that's going to have to be a homework, is to finish those two sentences, okay? My mother went shopping on Saturday afternoon. Marty, yes, correct writing, good. Okay, so students who haven't finished that, um, a homework's going to be to finish that, all right? <coughs> Very little homework, just two sentences. Right. What I'm going to do now, just for a change, because, um, <coughs> well, because you're a very good class and because you all did the test and we're doing well and it's the weekend. So I'm going to now do something a little bit different to what we usually do. I'm going to read you a story. I'm going to read you a little story so you can close your books. Okay. If anyone can take pictures to send me from, sure. yes, Be sure. Um, um, got early it because I do it up, up my uh, of my homework is so try. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Right. So if anyone can take um pictures of uh me teaching on Zoom and send me that. Over the weekend, that would be great. Right, so close books, look, and listen. And I will try to make it that you enjoy. Uh, there it is. Right. There we are. Oh. I'll move the pictures over here. Okay. So today's story with teacher Cam is Meg's eggs. Here we can see Meg. And here we can see the three big eggs. And there's a cat. Right, let's go with the story. Meg, the witch, Mog, the cat, and Owl are at home. They are all very hungry. Here we see Meg, the witch. She's got no arms. Oh, that's funny. Here we see Owl. And here we see Mog, the cat. Mog, we can't see Mog's legs. And Owl is thinking about an egg to eat because they are very hungry. Meg puts in two frogs. Bloop, bloop. Oh, look at the frog. <laughs> and a lizard. She makes a spell. Like that. Lizards and newts, three loud hoots, green frog's legs, three big eggs. A hoot is the sound an owl makes. <gasps> like that. The spell makes three big eggs. Wow. Well, that's good, isn't it? Big eggs if you're hungry. They can't break the eggs. Oh dear. They go to bed without any dinner. Sad. Meg hears a noise. Meg's egg is hatching. Hatching means the egg is opening. The opening of an egg for a baby to come out is called hatching. Out pops a dinosaur. It's Diplodocus. Diplodocus is hungry. It goes to the pond. Yeah, take Diplodocus with you when you go to the toilet. It's eating water plants. It's very happy. 
Mog hears a noise. Mog's egg is hatching. Out pops another dinosaur. It's Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus is hungry. It goes to the garden. It's eating cabbages. It's very happy. Owl hears a noise. Owl's egg is hatching. Owl out jumps Tyrannosaurus. Owl is scared. I wonder what a scared owl sounds like. Maybe it's something like that. Tyrannosaurus is hungry. It wants to eat everyone. They are very scared. <laughs> Meg quickly makes another spell. Ooh, bacon and eggs jump over their legs. Those three big lumps will be three little lumps. And here we can see, oh, bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs for this spell. That's a bit funny, isn't it? The spell works. The dinosaurs are very, very small. Meg the witch, Mog the cat, and Owl are very happy now. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, look at Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> Looks like a little bird now, doesn't he? Hmm, not dangerous. And Meg's face is happy. End of the story. And end of class for today. That was just for a bit of fun, really. So, um little homework finish those two sentences if you haven't finished already thank you for all doing the test well done for everyone sending in the test don't worry if you got very low marks doesn't matter and have a great weekend everyone see you back here on monday bye bye thank you bye 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 bye